welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel today i have another haul video and i bought a lot of lot of new products now i also ordered a couple of things from colourpop but i still didn't receive them and it has been two weeks now we have some problems with post offices there are too many packaging they are not delivering to right addresses so i hope my will uh, arrive soon because i'm very excited to track those products too but let's dig in with and let's talk about these products that i have in front of me there are a lot of them some of them i already did review on my youtube channel so, so i'm not going to talk about them much more i'm just going to show them give you a more opinions what i think about them because i did use a couple of these more some of them i filmed review videos but they are coming up on my channel so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do that i'm planning soon a new giveaway and i'm very excited it's going to be some amazing products so subscribe so you don't miss that video and hit that notification bell so you know every time i upload and uh, if you're interested to see what products i bought this month please keep on watching okay so i buy a lot of products that tati talks about and uh, tati is a youtuber and I think most of the people already know who she is but I do like um, how she reviews products and sometimes I get very curious and I do buy them if I can so one of the products I bought is this uh, Briogeo don't repair don't despair repair hair mask I really like this and you also you get a conditioner you also get a cap with some product on it and the cap you can use over and over again I that's what I do when I use other conditioners and other masks, I do use that cap. So uh, it's a very good product. I do like it and I do use it one more time after the, doing that video. And I can say it did make my hair feel stronger and looking stronger. So I do like that. And I'm definitely going to continue using it. I'm kind of curious to try the conditioner by itself uh, and see if that product on the cap really does something or for my hair or not because I heard the conditioner is also very good. It's not too expensive, but it's not cheap either. Uh, yeah, this includes four treatments. I used two, I have two left, and I do like this product and I do recommend it. Okay, the next product is I bought these rose quartz nine piece brushes from BH Cosmetics. I have a couple of them here in my hands and a couple of them everywhere else. A uh, couple of them, I can't really find it right here, but I do use them every, every single day. I love these brushes. They are very soft. This is a blush brush that I use. This is a very soft brush. They do blend my eyeshadows, my contour, my powder, my blush beautifully. I love these brushes and look at the, how beautiful this is. I mean, very nice color. I really like it. BH Cosmetics did surprise me. Almost every product I use of them, I do love. I also have other BH Cosmetics products that I really, really love. So I'm, this brand is amazing and it's also cruelty free. So love the brushes. Then I repurchased these products. I repurchased this Kerastea Paris Resistance product. This is a shampoo and this is like a gel shampoo. It looks like a gel, uh, not like a regular shampoo. I really like this product. I did, this one I did repurchase. I already used a bottle and I loved it. And I also got this uh, Soin Premier. This is uh, like a conditioner, but this is something that you use before using shampoo. We use this before and I love this. The only pro thing I don't love about this product is how you open this. I mean, you open it like this, Smell it smells wonderful, I love the smell. But when I open this and take the product in my hand, I have a hard time to close it. So I don't like really this kind of opening. I prefer, let me show you. I prefer something that opens like this and not like this so yeah uh, but I love this product I did repurchase this I already filmed my empty videos and these were in it the ones that I used up I love them definitely something I'm going to continue using and you already got sneak peek of this product this is the delicious moments bubble bath from oriflame Sweden and this smells so nice. It smells like strawberry cream. And I use this a couple of times and my children love bubble bath. So we use this every time they um, taking a bubble bath and they loved it. Loved it. Uh, this smells wonderful. 
and it does bubble up very nice very fast and the bubbles do stay for quite a long time and I really like this product it smells nice the other bubble bath product they also got from Oraflame Sweden this is the frosted berry cake bubble bath this smells Christmas I mean it smells so nice and the water gets a little bit like pinkish in the beginning I love this bubbles also stay for a long time smells nice leaves my skin and my children's skin very soft and very nice we we all use this in my family not my husband though he doesn't like taking bubble baths but me and my children we love them and this product is something that we use right now and we love this okay the other product I already reviewed on my channel is this Clarisonic uh, smart profile uh, I love this Crossonic. I use it every morning and every night to clean my face. I also use this foundation brush. This is something that I also bought this month. I love this foundation brush. Now, I find like this brush doesn't really work with all of my foundations. Some of my foundations do look a little bit tricky, but when I use my beauty, blend, uh, beauty blender or a sponge or something similar to it and just go over fast over my face, it looks flawless. So I do use this for almost all of my foundations right now and I love it love it and also I love to use this cloth on it to clean my face clean it for makeup and uh, other products and I love it so I do recommend cloth Sony they have come different uh, cloth uh, brushes so if you don't like and don't want this smart because this one was a little bit pricier than the others you can uh, definitely check it out sometimes they do have a discount so you can get this cheaper but I really like this I uh, bought my first Morphe palette uh, if you don't count Jaclyn Hill palette because it is a Morphe but it's a co collaboration with the Jaclyn Hill this is the new 3502 palette and I already I used it once so I can't really talk about all the shades but the shades that I used for creating a makeup look that I filmed and it's going to be on my channel soon I really liked so uh, if you're not subscribed please do that so you don't miss that video but i do like this palette and uh, this is my first morphe and i can say that i'm really curious of trying other morphe palettes now the only thing i did see in morphe palettes is that they do have a lot of brown shades different brown shades a lot of palettes have so many brown shades and this one too so i can't speak if there are some dupes or some shades are the same can't say that but when I look at the picture of a, a Morphe palette they do contain a lot of brown shades I don't know I mean it, I don't mind these look kind of similar but when I swatch these they they, they are not the same they have un different undertones and they are very easy to blend I like this palette I bought a couple of things for a brand IDC color brand I never heard about this brand before but I did buy bought a couple of things and I did do a first impression review video I bought this bronzing for face and body and I'm not really big fan of this product it's not bad it just it just looks kind of strange on my skin now I did find it first when I used it it was a little bit patchy but I used it with a different foundation i think it was i used it with my ysl foundation and then it worked more beautifully it was uh, more even but the color the shade is not really right for my skin tone uh, but it says to be body too so i'm going to leave it and use it in the summer and maybe use it on my body and see how that work i didn't try it on my body but i did try it on my face and the shade is kind of it looks a little bit orangey or too warm on my skin but uh, it works kind of differently with different foundations even if I set them with powder I don't know why, why is that or if, if it depends on a brush I'm not really sure but I am going to experiment a little bit more of the, with this product I also bought the two Saffron uh, this is not the same, same brand this is from Saffron this is a different brand but this is two brown pencils now I do have them on my brows today and I did a mistake with on in that video I said this was IDC color pro product but it's not this is from Saffron a brand called Saffron London haven't heard about that brand either but uh, I did try this in that video and I do have this on my eyebrows today I can really say and honestly say 
that I really like this product. They look nice on my eyebrows. The first shade I tried, the chocolate brown, the number three that I had in the beginning of my eyebrows, it kind of looks strange. But I was, I did use it every day for at le least six, seven days. And I can't, I can say that I kind of got used to that shade. I don't know if my hair color is also different. So maybe that's why I found it working better than it did before. But uh, I do use number three and four at the same time in my brows. And I do like the product. Now, it's kind of, it, in the beginning it was sharper and it was easier to get those str straight thin lines but right now it's not when I used it a couple of times it's not as sh sharp as it was before so it is a little bit harder to work with uh, to get that straight nice fine line so I do go in with my concealer under my eyebrows and around to kind of shape it a little bit better but I do like this product definitely going to continue using it I mean it's not bad it's it really is not bad product so do recommend it now to this IDC color daily look eyeshadow palette I love the color of this palette now I don't like the packaging it's it's a little bit cheap packaging I mean in the pan eyeshadows that dependent eyeshadows are in looks looks a little bit cheap but I can say I use this for over a week every single day some of the shades or almost identical even if they look different to the pen when I apply them on my eyes they look almost the same so uh, that's like something I didn't like also I didn't like about this palette they only have two three matte shades that's the black the purple and the pink one and I kind of needed something more natural too so you I did use other palettes like transition shades for my eye makeup look but I did use a lot of these shades and I can say some of them more pink than the others but I got so many compliments while I was using this palette. Many of my friends and my co-workers told me that my eyeshadow looked beautiful, the shades were nice, it opened my eyes, especially the pink, pink shades up here. Like I said in that video, I'm not a big fan of pink eyeshadows and I don't own anything similar to this one, so that's why I bought this color. I had other eyeshadow palettes that look more beautiful than this one. <laughs> That, uh, but I did buy this because I don't own anything similar to this one and like I can say I'm very glad that I did because th they are very nice and they do stay on my eyes for a very very long time so I do like this pa palette and I do use it did use it every day for over a week and I'm definitely going to continue using it when I want pink shades so it's not bad I just feel like some of the pink shades could re re replace some of these shades too these are almost identical on my eyes even if they don't look the same in my in this pan it, they are almost the same uh, also uh, these two up here but I can say uh, more transition shades would be nicer in this palette the mirror is awful I don't like the mirror in here okay I also bought this IDC contour three sticks from uh, IDC makeup color contour sticks three of them I did use them a couple of times and I really like them. I mean, they are not as pigmented as I thought they would be. and uh, But I do like them. They don't feel heavy. They are easy to blend, easy to build up. And they're not horrible. I mean, maybe there are better contour sticks out there. I don't know. I haven't tried them. Uh, I did try the NYX that my sister didn't like and I did do like this. Uh, it's a similar... I think I got the similar results with both uh, sticks but I do like them and definitely going to use them so I do recommend them too they're not they they were affordable and nice I also bought these eyelashes I have on me today and I heard Tati talking about them and they are her favorite I'm talking about Ardell's Demi Whispers now the paper that comes in here I, I can't find it anywhere I lost it somewhere but as you can see here it comes four pairs and I have one on me today though and I used these couple of times I don't even feel them on my eye, eyes I don't even feel them I think they look beautiful I think they op open my eyes and they're perfect shape for my eyes I don't even have to cut them down they're perfect they're so easy to place on my eyes they're so easy to work with uh, they are easy to put on they're easy to remove uh, I love them and I understand why she loves them 
demi wisp try other Ardell's lashes but these are my favorite and definitely something I always going to repurchase because I love them I love them my new favorite eyelashes and I don't use eyelashes often I never use them when I work even if I do want maybe not appropriate for a teacher to use false lashes but uh, it's because I wear glasses and um, that's why I don't wear falsies all the time but I love them and uh, I think I'm going to get addicted because they look beautiful in my eyes. I love them. I have more things to show you guys. Okay. I talked so much about my hair in this on my channel, how how my hair was getting thinner and looked very dry and very bad. So I did cut it and I did uh, color it a little bit. But something that makes my hair look fuller. I don't know if you can see it looks more healthier and it looks like I have a lot of hair again. I don't but it looks like that. Uh, it's because I use this Kerasté Paris, I can't pronounce this, gel spray, all over thickening spray gel, flexible hold. It's something I have on my in my hair today. All, it says like here, all over thickening spray gel. It expands the thickness of each fiber. Hair looks thicker. Apply section by section on damped hair, blow dry and style layer for more dramatic look now i can say i did use this couple of times in my hair and i love this one now i have to say if you put a lot of this a little bit too much like i do it's going to be feel thick and it's going to feel like hair is stick together but when i calm this when i calm my hair through it just leaves my hair feel so nice so thick so smooth i love this product and I'm addicted. It smells nice. I have to be honest, if you look at my hair, I washed it for two days ago and it still looks nice. It still feels soft and doesn't look oily, doesn't look bad. So I love, love this product. Really love this product. I love it. Definitely, if you have thin hair and you want to make it look thicker and healthier, try this, try this one. Maybe it will work for you too. Then we go over to a big a big disappointment. This is Festival Eye Glitter Casual Palette. Look how beautiful this palette looks. Let me open it. I saw this palette in a store. This was very cheap. I don't know if I paid like two dollars maybe for this one or two or three dollars. It was very cheap and uh, I bought those. I don't have them in hand right now. The Wet n Wilds like single glitter eyeshadows that are like a gel with the glitter in it. I hate those. They look beautiful, but I hate those. I tried to create a makeup look in, on my channel. I never did that because they I have very oily eyelids and doesn't matter what eyeshadow, what eyeshadow primer, it doesn't matter what I use under it. It just creases because it's a gel, it doesn't dry down. And I hope that this one wouldn't be the same thing, but it is. It's actually the same thing. I did use this once and I don't think I'm going to use it again. I will keep it maybe for, an, for a Halloween makeup look over on my body or some challenge or something, I don't know. But I hate it because it's a gel with a lot of glitter, doesn't dry down and it creases like I won't even say it. So I'm very disappointed. I really was hoping for a glitter eyeshadow that will stay on my eyelids. Now I know there are glitter eyeshadow palettes, uh, glitter eyeshadows that maybe will work better, but I needed something more affordable and this wasn't it. So if you see this and you don't like gel form eyeshadows, don't, don't buy this one, don't buy this one. I don't recommend it. They look beautiful. I mean, let me swatch this purple one. They look beautiful, but they don't work on oily eyelids. They don't work, just don't like it, don't like it. I uh, also got this IDC Color Makeup Smoothing Primer. I've been using this almost every day and I can say this is my new favorite primer. My favorite face primer right now. This doesn't make my foundation stay longer. It does do a nice job, but it does a wonderful job with minimizing my pores. It minimizes my pores, make my skin a little bit more even, and my foundation looks beautiful already. I do really love this um, 
primer I'm kind of surprised it looks pink it looks pink but when you put it on your skin work it in the skin it leaves my skin so nice so smooth my pores are less visible and it turns into translucent so I really really love this primer definitely going to repurchase this one and maybe repurchase one for my for my give, future giveaway you never know you never know because I do like this primer uh, then I bought like if you know if you watch my videos you already know there are a lot of eyeshadow palettes I'm obsessed you know they are always look for a nice mascara and they are really looking for the best eyeshadow primer now I have I'm kind of um, uh, trying to put a video together I'm trying a different different primers eyeshadow primers and one of those that I'm trying out right now is this Elizabeth Arden eye fix primer I heard so many nice things about this primer and this was was a little bit expensive I think I bought I paid around $30 I think it was that around $30 I'm not sure $28 $30 and it has some color in it so it does it does have some pigmentation in it it dries down very fast I won't speak about this too much because I'm trying it out and I'm trying out the different eyeshadow primers and I want to do a like um I want to do a video of best and worst eyeshadow primers so this is going to be one of them it's not bad it's really not bad I won't say if it's my favorite. Uh, it kind of reminds me of my my Smashbox 24, 24 hour, right? My Smashbox 24 hour something primer. I always forget that name. Uh, it reminds me of that one. But I will do a video, a full video with a lot of eyeshadow primers. I'm going to review them. I'm going to talk about them. I'm going to tell them how apply, how eyeshadows blend over them. How, for how long my eyeshadows will stay intense on my eyelids and how long it will take for my eyeshadow to start crease because it always creases I'm, I need my eyeshadow to look good for all, at least 12 hours at least 12 I'm still looking for that eyeshadow primer but stay on my channel I will review a couple of eyeshadow primers not couple, a lot of them okay I also bought this Rexona Maximum Protection Antiperspirant Deodorant. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it in English. But this is my favorite, favorite deodorant. This is the only thing that works for me. And I buy it online, so I get it a little bit cheaper. I love it. I also did a video with this product. I bought this Urban Decay Vice Matte, what it's called? called metal meets matte lipstick palette now it's what I have on my lips today when I swatched these and did a swatch video I didn't have them for a long time on my lips and I can't really say that they do dry matte down matte they do transfer so don't kiss while you have this lipstick on they dry down matte. I have a mix of between. I have this team and double team. These two on my lips today. These two, and this is how it looks. Uh, it does gathers here a little bit. All of my lips lips do. I love this palette. But I can take it with me. Only this one, and I have a couple of different shades. I don't have to take ten different lipsticks with me in my purse. I don't have to look. In my purse after that perfect lipstick I have this one I can mix and match and I can ha wear them on by themselves I love this palette and I know the metallics are not metallics they are lipstick with a lot of glitter in it and they work maybe better over another lipstick but oh my god but it's perfect it's perfect for me it's exactly what I was looking for Last product I've had, I have in here is this BH Cosmetic Nude Blush pa Palette, and uh, this is how the palette looks. Remind, the packaging reminds me of Morphe. This one has a little bit different texture on it, but it kind of reminds me of Morphe palette. I mean, it's the same plastic. Look how beautiful these are. I have. Which one I do have? I think I have. 
I have these two on me today, on my face today. I love this palette. I mean, I really love this palette. This is, I heard so many good things about this palette. I mean, I have a lot of blushes. It's not like I really needed another palette, but actually I did. I'm a palette collector. I love palettes and I'm a YouTuber. I always need new makeup. This is so affordable. It is very, it's a nice price. You get 10 different shades. You get 10 beautiful shades. Now, not all of them maybe work for my skin tone. Uh, these two may be a little bit darker, but if I go light-handed, they're so easy to blend. Now this one is shimmery. This one is maybe, it will work better for someone with deeper skin tone, like a highlighter or something. It's a little bit too shimmery for, for a blush. That's my opinion. I don't know. We all have different tastes. Taste, that's good. So I won't really use this, maybe like an eyeshadow, but not like a blush. But all of these shades will work nice on my skin and I love this palette. It's going with me everywhere. Okay, like I said before, I had a couple of other products from Colourpop that I still didn't receive and I hope, hope, hope they will come soon because I really can't wait to review them on my channel. I can't wait to show you guys what I bought but that was everything I had in this video if you like this video give a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already uh, to my channel and uh, thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye